Hello, this is Louise Hay, and I would like to discuss a few ideas with you. Life is really very simple. What we give out, we get back. What we think about ourselves becomes the truth for us. I believe that everyone, myself included, is responsible for everything in our lives. Each one of us creates our experiences by our thinking-feeling patterns. The thoughts we think and the words we speak create our experiences. What we believe about ourselves and about life becomes true for us. Our words and our thoughts are powerful. It's almost as though every time we think a thought or every time we speak, the universal mind is listening without judgment or criticism and produces this as our experience. Our lives, our relationships, our finances or lack of finances, our health, and the way we express ourselves creatively are all a mirror of what we believe about ourselves. The universal power never judges or criticizes us. It only accepts us at our own value. Then it mirrors this for us in our lives. If I want to believe that life is lonely and that nobody loves me, then that is what I will find in my world. However, if I am willing to release that belief and to affirm for myself that love is everywhere and I am loving and lovable and to hold on to that new affirmation and to repeat it often, then it will become true for me. New loving people will come into my life and the people already in my life will become more loving to me and I will find myself easily expressing love to others. Most of us have foolish ideas about who we are and many, many rigid rules about how life should be lived. This is not to condemn us for each of us is doing the very best we can at this moment. If we knew better, if we had more understanding and awareness, then we would do things differently. Please don't put yourself down for being where you are. Means that you are ready to make a new positive change in your life. Acknowledge yourself for this. You know, when we are little babies, we learn who we are and how we feel about ourselves by our parents' reactions to us. There is no other way we can learn. Then, when we grow up, we have a tendency to recreate the emotional environment of our early home life. This is not good or bad or right or wrong. It is just what we, inside, know as home. We also tend to recreate in our personal relationships the relationships we had with our mothers or with our fathers or that they had between them. Think how often you have had a lover or a boss that was just like your mother or father. Another thing we do when we grow up is to treat ourselves the way our parents treated us. We scold and punish ourselves in the same way. You can almost hear the words when you listen. We also love and encourage ourselves in the same way, if we were loved and encouraged as children. This is not to blame our parents for anything, for we are all victims of victims. Our parents were doing the best they could with the understanding and awareness they had. They could not teach us anything they did not know. If your mother did not love herself, 
There is no way she could teach you to love yourself. If you want to understand your parents more, get them to talk about their own childhood. And if you listen with compassion, you will learn where their fears and rigid patterns came from. Now all this is to show us where we get many of our beliefs. But let us not use this information as an excuse to stay stuck in our pain. The past has no power over us. It doesn't matter how long we've had a negative pattern. The point of power is in the present moment. The point of your power is in the present moment. What a wonderful thing to realize. We can begin to become free in this moment. You see, what we are experiencing in our lives right now, today, was created by what we thought and said and believed yesterday, last week, last month, last year, five, ten, or twenty years ago. But this is a new moment, and we can begin fresh in this moment. What we are thinking and saying, what we choose to believe today, will create our tomorrow, and the next day, and the next week, and the next month, and the next year, and so on. Isn't it wonderful to realize that this is a new moment and a new beginning right now? We can start fresh in this very moment if we are willing to make some changes in our own minds. We can never change other people. We can only change ourselves. And as we change, all of our life will change. Let's relax some of the rules we have created. Let us drop some of the rigidness of our negative beliefs. We can become very rigid in our negative beliefs. Let us allow our minds to become flexible, to experience new ideas and new ways of living. There is something to know. It is not hard work. It is only being consistent about changing our thoughts. Now, there are several things we can do to begin. We can affirm, that is, say to ourselves, that we are willing to release the negative patterns in our own consciousness, in our own minds, that have been creating the lack or limitation or uncomfortable experiences. For example, if we are heavy smokers, or if we are overweight, or have any compulsive habit in any area, instead of thinking how terrible we are, or that we're bad, or that we lack discipline or willpower, let us realize that there is some need in our consciousness to have this condition, or it would not be there. There is some pattern in our subconscious mind that is creating this condition. So let's say something together, and you fill in the blank of whatever it is you want to release. I am willing to release the need for I am willing to release the pattern in my consciousness that has created this condition. I know it sounds very simple, but really there is nothing to fight and there is nothing to struggle against. There is only a pattern in consciousness that is creating the condition. And as we release the pattern, the condition will be changed. It must be changed. You may need to say, I am willing to release the need for, over and over and over again for a while, until the subconscious mind accepts the new program. Please don't give up after only one day and say, oh, it doesn't work. Please persist until the change starts to happen. Repeat this new thought pattern as often as you would a worry thought. This is another powerful exercise 
one that will bring you much freedom in your life. It certainly has made a difference, a great difference in my own life. Let's remove the word should from our vocabulary forever. Let's take the word should and throw it out in the trash and send it off to the dump, never to be heard of again. Should is a word that makes a prisoner of us. Every time we use should, we are making ourselves wrong, or we're making someone else wrong. We are, in effect, saying, not good enough, or you have failed, or you might fail, or wrong. Begin to listen to how often this word is used and how crippling it is. Let your understanding and awareness grow and make you free. Replace the word should with the word could. Could lets you know that you have choice, and choice is freedom. We need to be aware that everything we do in life is done by choice. There is really nothing that we have to do. There are things that it might be best for us to do. However, we always have choice. So now every time you hear yourself using the word should, let a red light go off in your mind and then gently allow yourself to release it and let it go. Please don't use eliminating should as another excuse to be angry at yourself. All we want is understanding and awareness. You might observe, Oh dear, this is 47 times today that I've used should. No wonder I'm such a rigid person. Now that would be understanding and awareness and the road to freedom. One of the very worst things we can do is to get angry at ourselves. Anger only locks us more rigidly into our patterns. Sometimes we think we have to be angry at ourselves in order to change. But you've been angry at yourself and scolding yourself for years, and you haven't changed. That's not the way to do it. Think of what happens when we yell and scream at a tiny child. All the joy goes out of their life. And if we yell and scream at them long enough, they literally shrivel and sit in corners. The same thing happens to the little child within us when we get angry at ourselves. We lose our joy. We lose our creativity. We lose our spontaneity. We lose our freedom. We don't need any more anger. We need more self-acceptance and more love. When we can accept ourselves as we are right now, without any criticism or judgment, then we are truly loving ourselves and the negative patterns must dissolve. If we wait until we have the new job before we love ourselves, or if we wait until we lose weight before we love ourselves, or if we wait until someone else loves us before we love ourselves, we are denying our existence right now. If we wait until we become perfect before we love ourselves, we waste our lives. We are already perfect right here and right now. And yes, we will change. But the changes we make when we love and accept ourselves are always positive. Always. So let's release the anger and begin the process of accepting and approving of who we are and what we are right now. We are always unfolding in the best way we can. When we can accept ourselves right now, as we are right now, without any criticism or judgment, then we are truly loving ourselves, and the negative patterns must dissolve. No negative condition can remain in our lives when we truly love and accept ourselves.
Love is the healing force. Love dissolves anger. Love releases guilt. Love erases fear. Love for ourselves is the power that heals us. There is so much more for me to say to you. For now, just think about these ideas. Accept the ones you can. Practice as much as you can. You can do this anytime, anywhere. You do not have to sit in a special position, nor do you have to do it for long periods of time. All you have to do is to think a thought. Practice changing your thoughts. Just think. You have the ability to think any thought you want. Why think thoughts that will create chaos in your life? Think of the best for you and know that you deserve it. Your life will change for the better. Let these ideas sink into your subconscious mind and the changes will come automatically by themselves. Life is really very simple. What we give out, we get back. What we think of ourselves, becomes the truth for us. So think the best of yourself. Think the best of others. Know and affirm that for yourself all is well. Everything you need to know is revealed to you, and everything you need comes to you. Thank you for listening. I love you. We are going to do a deep meditation which will help you release negative patterns that have been limiting you. And we will reprogram new concepts and new ideas into your subconscious mind. It is freedom time. So let yourself get very, very comfortable. Be aware that the past is over and done and cannot be changed. This is the only moment that exists. Let the past go and turn your attention to this new moment. In order to reprogram the subconscious mind, we need to relax the body to get the tension out of the way to get the emotions out of the way and to get to a state of openness and receptivity. You are always in charge and you are always safe. Feel that you are very safe with yourself and that you are open and receptive to that which is for your highest good and for your greatest joy. Now let's relax the mind. Just let it go limp, like a piece of silk. And let all the thoughts slide off of you. Take a deep breath. And just release your resistance. Let your scalp and your forehead relax. Let your eyes relax. Let all the muscles around your eyes relax. And let your eyes sink deep into your head. Let your cheeks and your lips relax.
Let your jaw muscles relax. And allow your teeth to separate a little. Relax the very base of your tongue. You may notice how tense your tongue was and how good it feels to relax your tongue. Relax your throat and the back of your neck. Feel that relaxation moving into the shoulders and down through the arms and elbows, through the lower arms, into your wrists, hands, and through your fingers. Take another deep breath and let your chest relax. Your breathing is nice and easy now. Relax your heart. Relax your lungs. Relax your abdomen and your pelvis. Let your whole back relax. All the back muscles become very heavy. And you visualize your vertebrae in perfect alignment. Let that relaxed feeling move down through your legs, into your knees, through your lower legs, ankles, and feet. Now let your skin relax and then go even deeper and feel that all the internal organs are relaxed and peaceful. Go even deeper and let all your emotions relax. And feel at peace. Be aware that you are pure consciousness. You are one with all of life. You are not lonely or abandoned, but one with the very power that created you. The one intelligence that created this entire planet is the same intelligence that you think with. The power that created you has given you the power to create for yourself your own environment and experiences. No one has any power over you, for you are the only thinker in your mind. You are the power and authority in your own life. Yes. We honor and acknowledge that when you were a child, there were some difficult times. There were times when you were lonely, when you felt unwanted and unloved. Perhaps you were rejected or abandoned or even abused. Sometimes there were terrible times. And we say, yes, that was true. But the past has no power over you now. The point of power is in the present moment. Each moment is a new beginning, 
And this moment is a new beginning for you right here and right now. So we take the past, all of it, up to this very moment and wrap it in divine love. And we release it and let it go. We affirm that you are now free. You are not your father. You are not your mother. You are not any of your relatives. You are not the teachers at school. Nor are you the limitations of your early religious upbringing. You are yourself a divine, magnificent expression of life. Since time began on this planet, there has never been another person like you, and there never will be. You are special, unique, with your own set of talents and abilities. No one can do things exactly the way you do them. So there is no competition and no comparison. You are a magnificent being worthy of your own love and your own self-acceptance. We now acknowledge this is true. We order your subconscious mind to release any and all negative beliefs that are limiting you in any way whether you know what they are or not. No matter how long they have been there, we order them wiped out, erased, eliminated, neutralized, released. We affirm that you are now free of them. We affirm that you are willing to release the causes, the patterns in your consciousness that are creating any negative conditions in your life now. You are willing to release the need for this condition. You allow it to disappear, to fade away, to dissolve back into the nothingness from whence it came. You are now willing to stop mentally rejecting what you say you want. You are now free. You are free of the past. The old garbage no longer has a hold on you. You are free. You create in the present moment with the power of your own mind that which you now desire. Your current thoughts are always creating your future. Now you will do this consciously. You will think with the awareness that your thought is creative. So we now replace those negative patterns with a new positive affirmation and acknowledgement of your own magnificence and capability to be and do whatever you desire we now affirm a new sense of love and acceptance of your own self. Feel that your heart is opening and know that there is room in there for you. There is so much love in your heart that you could heal the entire planet. But just for now, let us use this love to heal you. Allow this love to change the way you think about yourself and begin to talk about yourself in a new and loving way. I am totally adequate at all times and I approve of myself. I am totally adequate and I approve of myself. This may not feel like the truth for you right now, but repeat it over and over and over and over again, and it will become the truth for you. 
I am totally adequate at all times, and I approve of myself. Vow that no matter how foolish you may seem to behave for the moment, that you will never again stop loving and approving of yourself. You are in process of becoming your own best friend, the person you are most joyous to be with. Now this love you have for yourself begins to radiate out from you in all directions, above you, beneath you, and on either side of you, in front of you, in back of you, so that wherever you go and whoever you meet, you will find your own love is waiting for you. This love you radiate out returns to you multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. And you rejoice that this is so. In this space of feeling good about yourself, you now become aware that you have unique talents and abilities and that it is your birthright to express yourself in ways that are fulfilling to you. We affirm that there are people looking for exactly what you have to offer, and you are being brought together on the checkerboard of life. New opportunities open before you, and you now find yourself working for and with people that appreciate you and what you do in an atmosphere of harmony and ease. You are in the ideal location and earning good money. Now, if there is any belief within you that says you can't have this or you're not good enough, just think to yourself, I'm willing to let that belief go. I do not have to believe that anymore. I now accept this new idea as the truth for myself. Remember, it's only a thought you need to change. Please don't struggle. It's not hard work. It's merely changing a thought. You were born to enjoy life and to be fulfilled in every area. And this includes sharing in the abundance of the universe. We affirm you are now willing to open yourself to the prosperity that is everywhere available. You claim it now mentally for yourself, right here and right now. I deserve to be prosperous. I deserve to be prosperous. What kind of feelings does that bring up in you? What negative pattern in your subconscious mind is denying this for you? Be willing to turn that belief around. Release those negatives. Let them go. You now claim and accept your own good, your own abundance, your own prosperity. Accept it mentally right here and right now. You now acknowledge that your body is the divine expression of health of the whole universe and that you accept perfect health for yourself. If there is any part of your body that is not healthy now, you are willing to release the pattern in your consciousness that is contributing to the disease. The mind that created the disease is the same mind that can and will heal your body, your mind. You now dissolve all patterns of resentment, anger, revenge, criticism, fear, guilt, and jealousy. You now allow your body to return to vibrant health, filled with energy, beautiful 
and comfortable. Feel that bounce in your step. See your shining eyes. The radiant you is right here. Claim it. Doesn't matter how long you've had the old negative pattern. This is a new day. We begin anew to claim and create all that is good, all that is prosperous, all that is joyful and loving, all that is creative, and know that this is the truth for you. We know and affirm that the universe supports us in all of our new beliefs. All we have to do is think a thought, we relax and know and affirm that the universe will now support us in our new beliefs and make the necessary changes in our experience. We are willing to change. We are willing to change. It does not matter whether your conscious mind has heard one word I've said or not. For we are contacting the subconscious mind. You are open and receptive to your own good. We affirm that miracle now follows miracle. You go from success to success, from glory to glory. We affirm that this affirmation is the truth of your being and that that which we have declared is already accomplished in consciousness and now becomes manifest in your experience. We have planted new positive seeds in the fertile soil of your subconscious mind where they now germinate, take root and grow and become true for you. When you see the first little shoots coming up, don't say that's not enough. Instead, say with joy, oh boy, here it comes. And watch your own crop of abundance and joy come in. Harvest and reap the good that you have sown. Happiness is feeling good about yourself. Happiness is feeling good about yourself. All is well in your own wonderful, wonderful world. All is well. So be it. I love you. Love yourself.